Hi everyone, my name is Nicole Stott and I'm a flight engineer with Expedition 20 on the International Space Station. And we're here today with you on the International Space Station and the Japanese Laboratory Module. Hi, I'm Bob Thirsk. I'm also a flight engineer aboard Expedition 20. The topic for today is weight versus mass, a heavy duty concept. So what is weight? Weight is the vertical force exerted by a mass as a result of gravity. Weight also means the strength of the gravitational pull on the object. That is, how heavy is it? Weight is dependent on gravity. On Earth, in a 1G environment, an astronaut in his spacesuit would weigh 360 pounds. On the Moon, in 1-6 Earth's gravity, the astronaut would weigh 60 pounds. In orbit, he would weigh 0 pounds because weight is dependent on gravity and the effect of Earth's gravity is not observed. Using more physics and mathematical terms, weight is defined as the fourth with which a body is attracted to Earth or another celestial body, equal to the product of the object's mass and the acceleration of gravity. So in equation form, gravity equals mass times acceleration due to gravity. On Earth, that's 9.8 meters per second squared. But what is mass? Mass is the property of a body that causes it to have weight in a gravitational field. The mass of an object is not dependent on gravity. Mass is the amount of matter in an object. Bodies with greater mass are accelerated less by the same force. If we use the same force on these two animals, the elephant, which has a greater mass, is affected less than the mouse, which has much less mass. And what is gravity? Gravity is a force that governs motion throughout the universe. It holds us to the ground. It keeps the moon and the station in orbit around the Earth, and the Earth in orbit around the sun. It is best described as the attraction between any two masses, most apparent when one mass is very large, like the Earth. The acceleration of an object toward the ground caused by gravity alone near the surface of the Earth is called normal gravity, or 1g. This acceleration is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared, or 32.2 feet per second squared. If you drop an apple on Earth, it falls at 1G. If an astronaut on the space station drops an apple, it falls too. It just doesn't look like it's falling. That's because they're all falling together. The apple or the onion, the astronaut, and the space station, all falling together. Well, what is microgravity? The International Space Station and us astronauts aboard are traveling at approximately 28,000 kilometers per hour or 17,500 miles per hour. And we're essentially falling around the Earth, creating weightlessness. The weightlessness that is felt in free fall on a ride at a music park or at an, on the International Space Station when it circles around the Earth is microgravity. Objects in a state of free fall in orbit are said to be weightless. The object's mass is the same, but their weight would register zero on a scale. Weight varies depending on if you're on Earth, the Moon, or in orbit, but your mass always stays the same. The first thing that uh, Koichi and I would like to do is demonstrate that we're actually on board the International Space Station and we're in a weightless environment. So let us show you a few little tricks here that will make that point. I'd like to have an arm wrestle with Koichi. Let's see what happens. One of my favorite Japanese sports is sumo wrestling. We're going to try to sumo wrestle.
<laughs> the somersault. Okay, Nicole, show us your stuff. Where'd she go? Come back. It's Superwoman. In a weightless environment, uh, we don't have the force of gravity uh, pulling on us or anything around us. And so what we've set up is two large rubber bands from here from this, the ceiling or our, what we'll call overhead here right now. And we have two drink bags. Uh, one is empty and one is full. I'm not going to tell you which. And if you look at the rubber bands, you can see that neither of these bags is experience experiencing the force of gravity. They don't appear to have any load on them at all. It doesn't look like the rubber band is stretching at all from one or the other. And what we can see here then is that both of these bags have mass, but they don't have weight. They don't have the force of gravity acting on them. So the one that's full and the one that's empty, they both look the same. Bob now has a water container, which is an empty container. And, uh, and also we have an air gun. And from this uh, cylinder, there's an air exit here. And uh, Bob can squeeze the air out of this. And uh, we will demonstrate uh, how this uh, water container will move with the force of the air. Okay, uh, as you saw, with the uh, empty or the filled with uh, 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 air, this uh, drink bag uh, moved pretty quickly. And now we have another bag which is filled with water and looks like the same, but the inside uh, it's filled with water. So the mass is different. Now we will demonstrate the same thing with this uh, water bag. And as you can see, with the higher mass, this bag did not move as quickly as the other uh, uh, bag with the air. We'll do that again. OK, so uh, that was uh, the demonstration. And you saw the difference between the uh, air-filled bag and a water-filled bag. Since mass masses are different that you saw the difference in the acceleration as a result from the same force applied to the bags. I mentioned earlier uh, one of the properties of mass is that uh, bodies with greater mass are accelerated less by the same force. We're going to use uh, a force as provided by um, a tape measure. There's a spring inside a tape measure and uh, we will use that as a force to act on the, uh, an empty bag of water, a full bag of water. And Then we have a surprise guest that will try to accelerate as well. And uh, Koichi now will release the spring on the tape measure. Let's see what happens to an empty bag of water. It accelerates very quickly. So we see that a, a body with a very low mass accelerates very rapidly. Let's do the same thing now with a full bag of water. We'll stretch the tape measure out to one meter. Okay, ready. Uh, we're out of the field of view. Just bring it around here. 
And now, uh, okay, now we're in field of view. And now we're ready to test uh, the mass. So a full drink bag accelerates, but at a lower rate than, uh, than an empty bag. Let's try one more object, a little bit heavier, a lot heavier than a, than a drink bag of, of water. Um, I'm going to ask Koichi to see if uh, I can accelerate. So I'll be on one end of the tape measure, and we'll see if the spring will accelerate me. So I'm, I'm holding on to the uh, end of the tape measure. I'm going to lift my feet up off the floor. I'm now free floating inside the Japanese lab. And very slowly, the tape measure spring is pulling me towards Koichi. Much, much slower than the drink bag. All right. <laughs> but even large masses can be accelerated. So the principle there we wanted to show is that bodies with uh, greater mass are accelerated less by the same force, the same force being the string, being the spring in the tape measure. Right. On Earth, objects also have weight. But in space, objects do not have weight. We do always consider mass. This, for example, is uh, a water bag that we fill and which we need to transport uh, around the station as well. On Earth, this bag would have a a mass and a weight of about 44 kilograms. In space, it has no weight at all. Let me go stow it away. I'll see you in a minute. We hope today's topic on mass and weight showed you that science can be fun. Every day on the space station, we're discovering new and different things about this interesting world around us. And where we live on the space station, we live in microgravity. And mass and weight, well, mass for sure comes into play every day. A lot of times it has to do with how we get started, but more importantly, it has to do with how we stop ourselves too. So thanks again for joining us today with a discussion of mass and weight, and we'll see you next time for another exciting science topic.